Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I made a video before about the um, rambunctious religions mod. If you haven't seen that video before, I will leave a link at the top of the screen now in the white box. It's a mod by Lumpino and it basically allows you to create sims who are very religious. Not in a serious way though, it's just tongue in cheek, it's just sims world. But I thought, perhaps today, I would indulge in my ultimate fantasy, which is to make, I guess you could call it a cult, uh, dedicated to yours truly. And I woke up this morning and I thought, you know what, today's the day, it's time to make that dream a reality. So, let me introduce you to the family. This here is Vincent. He's nice enough, I guess. And he has three wives, or three to-be wives, I guess. This is Andrea, and then there is Jayla, and also Shelly. You might notice in their uh, household relationships, though, they're not actually married yet. The only one Vincent is actually married to is the first wife, Andrea. So we're going to be playing with a little bit of polygamy in here as well, just to make it as spicy as possible. So I do also have wonderful whims installed because I'm hoping to try and um, have polygamy in the game so he can actually call them his wives. But the plan is we're going to move them into a, f a house, we're going to have loads of babies, we're going to discover religion and we're going to spread the word of my name. So let's begin. I have already built them a little house. Fitting for a cult-like family like this one. So this is the house, it's pretty basic, it's got lots of living space, dining table, that bedroom there is where the magic happens. We've got lots and lots of beds for the uh, many children we'll be having. And just in case you wonder, I'll be using MC Command Center a lot in this video. I've used it to allow a higher um, amount of household members than what you get in the game, and I'll probably be using it to speed up their pregnancy as well. And I have also furnished their home with custom images of their all-powerful leader. Just so that when they're, you know, getting down and they need to be reminded of their faith, they can just take a look at a picture of me and remind themselves of how lucky they are. And that one day they could achieve maybe even half the same amount of greatness. So, you know, for those of you that think that the purpose of this video is to self-indulgently feed into my god complex, you're wrong. Okay, it's about giving these sims hope. Practically an act of charity. So, first things first, before we start having babies like crazy, I'm going to buy them a, a holy book that you get with the mod. Ah, oh, here it is. The holy book. Discover religion. So, while she discovers religion, admittedly, I don't play with wonderful whims that often. Although I should, it's a really useful mod. I'm going to take a look and see if I can... Um, add polygamy here. Okay, so if I just give them all the polyamorous attributes, that should hopefully stop them from kicking up a fuss when we inevitably woohoo with all of these wives. I bought some more holy books. You can never have too many holy books. So now we can all discover religion. Now it's a real party. Time to have your minds broadened, guys. It's time to learn the truth about where you all came from. Who made this world that you're living in? Okay, so she has discovered religion, so I think that means... I think that means I can choose her religion now. Religious status, here we go. Select a faith. Worship of the Watcher, obviously. Well, that's one sim enlightened. Three more to go. I wonder if um, their children will automatically be religious or whether I'll have to go through this again. Because I'm pretty sure parents can teach their kids about religion. Um, select a faith. They're all going to be watchers. They're all going to follow the same faith. Okay, so I think they all believe in me now. Worship of the watcher. Worship of the watcher. Okay, great, great. This is great news. Well then, Jayla, I think it would be a good time for you to maybe pray. Go and pray. Pray for everyone present. And Vincent, maybe you should pray too. 
We're about to commit some sins, so... Oh, amazing. Amazing. Well, seeing as you two are the only ones awake, maybe we should try for a baby. First things first, though, I'm going to ask her to be my girlfriend. Because even though I have the... I've given them all the polyamorous trait, I still don't think you can marry more than one sim. So I'm going to have to do the next best thing and have the other wives classified as girlfriends. So I'll ask her to be my girlfriend, and then we'll go and try for a baby. You gonna make an honest man out of this guy? Well, that sounded like a yes to me. Permanent separation has been removed from this couple. I don't really know what that means. <laughs> Were they ever permanently separated? I don't know. Maybe we should have just a little kiss? Just a little kiss before we make some babes? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Andrea will soon have her period. Not if I have anything to do with it. Right, go and try for a baby with Jayla. So I'm thinking what I might do, because I'm going to be using MC Command Center like crazy, is I might just get them all pregnant with triplets and have them all age up so they're different age ranges. I basically want to have it so that the dad goes out and preaches and the wives are just always pregnant at some point. Just to make sure that my work is being done, you know. The dad is spreading the dad is spreading the message of my name and the mums are just multiplying my followers. That's an ideal outcome for me. My goal by the end of this, I don't really know what my goal is. Is someone watching? <laughs> okay. My goal is to basically have loads and loads of children. How are you already pregnant? Are you pregnant? And then maybe convert some neighbours. Take fertility awareness to... Uh, yeah, convert some um, neighbours into this faith. Perhaps you guys should have your first kiss. I mean, there's no need to stop now. We started already. Try for a baby. Oh, no. Jayla's not pregnant. Oh, what a waste. Right, I'm going to have to set her pregnancy status at like 100%, aren't I? I'm using Woohoo Wellness to do that, by the way. That's the name of the mod. The Woohoo Wellness Overhaul. You're just going to stay there and watch? I mean, to be honest, you could always join in. Two birds, one stone. That's what they say, isn't it? Oh, terrible. She's nauseous from premenstrual syndrome. Well, hopefully we can stop that period coming all together. No protection was used. That's how we like it in this faith. Right, go and take a test. Hopefully the deed was done to a good enough standard. And then, Jayla, you're going to have to try that again. Your one job was to get pregnant. And you failed at even that. <gasps> She's pregnant. Oh. Oh, thank Carla for that. It's the start of our new huge family. You're going to take a look at your God's image? You're going to take a look at DJ Carla over there? Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. How are you guys getting on? It's looking fairly productive from my side, so... I'm glad you're hanging around, Shelley. Because you're next. Okay, so I think probably... Oh, she was going to go and read the holy book. I think probably you guys should be um, boyfriend and girlfriend. Oh, Jayla's not pregnant again. Oh, Jayla. Oh, go and take the fertility awareness test. I think it's because I've got wonderful whims installed. She might have a few fertility issues, maybe. A 24% chance of becoming pregnant. Okay. So you guys go and try for a baby. So Jayla, let me see if I can do something in your settings. Pregnancy settings. Okay, so on her phone, she does have the option to go to fertility treatment. So I think I'm going to send her there. And then when she gets back, we can try that again. But in the meantime, I think it really is time we start multiplying this family. So I'm going to... Get some of these ladies in pre in labour. All right, Andrea, you don't need to moan so much. Go and have the baby then. Moping around the shop. Our first boy. We will call him Benjamin. Our first girl. Sandy. And another boy, Eric. There we go. So her babies have taken over all of the bassinets. So I'm just going to have her age them all up kind of want them to be in um, in generations so her babies maybe we'll just make them children and then her babies will turn them into toddlers 
And Shelly, you can go take a pregnancy test. And Jayla, now that you're back from your treatment, you guys can see if you can conceive some babes. Oh, Shelly is pregnant. Great. So, yeah, I think I'm going to have all of their firstborns as children. And then all of their secondborns as toddlers. And she's pregnant, so she can go into labor as well. So we should end up with nine children, maybe like seven toddlers or something. Baby boy, Ethan, sure. Another baby boy, Stuart sounds good. And a baby girl, Juliet, perfect. And then we'll just age up these babies. So I wonder if the kids, I don't think kids can have a religion, can they? No. So when they're teens, I'll have to make sure that they're all my followers. Which reminds me, Jayla, did you uh, have any success there? Why don't you go take a pregnancy test? Okay, it's starting to look a little bit more busy around here. But just not busy enough. Oh, Jayla's not pregnant. Well, maybe if I use MC Command Center, I can try and get... There we go. Okay, perfect, perfect. So she's in labour, she can have her three babies and then once they're aged up into children, that's the first generation done. That would be, what, a total of 18 children? If they have nine children and nine toddlers. That will do for this family for now, I think. Little Matilda, Layla and Courtney. Be interested to take a look at Vincent's family tree once the kids are all finished being born. Already we've moved on to the smaller icons now. Oh, Shelley's gone to go read the holy book again. I like Shelley. She always autonomously goes to read the uh, holy book. Might get her to serve dinner maybe, or serve breakfast even. All of the kids are crying because they're so annoyed by having to have um, a sibling that they didn't want. Things are getting a little bit more lively now, aren't they? Okay, so Courtney is the last toddler. So I'm going to age her into a child. And then that's the first generation done. So we've got nine children. I think perhaps we should start assigning some of these beds. Layla, you can have that bed. Matilda, you can have that one. Juliet, that's your one, my love. And then the boys can share this room. <laughs> and then we've got a few beds in here for some of the other kids that don't have beds yet, like Courtney didn't have a bed. Anyone else without a bed? I think they've all got beds now. Great, great. Well, we've got quite a few kids now. You should probably rustle something up for brunch. And then I can send Vincent out on God's work. In fact, I wonder if I can send anyone to church yet. What about this mum? Can I send her to church? Religious events. You can go and attend a, a gathering. Essentially, she's going to go to church. Andrea's going to go to church. The other mums will stay home and take care of the kids. I'm going to see if I can put a podium in Vincent's inventory so he can go to the streets and spread the word of my name. Oh, dear. Well, lunch was served, but I guess there wasn't enough for you. That's what happens when you live in a big house. If you're not quick, then you'll just starve. Mm. Right, Vincent. I put a podium in his inventory, so that's enough fun and games. I need to send you out on a mission to go and do Carla's work. The mums can take care of the kids. They've got it figured it out. Don't worry. The busy streets of San Myshuno. Okay, so I'm thinking, let's go into the centre of this. Maybe try and shout over Angela play it Pleasant playing her music. Place in world... See if we can drown out her. Rehearse music to give a nice religious speech. Talking about our Lord and Saviour. Yep, Whiny smart. Brit. You call that a speech? I want to see more passion in those eyes, Vincent. I want to see more passion. Oh, Vincent, if you want a happy life, I'm going to need to see a bit more devotion than that, my man. No one's gathered around yet, but they'll come. They'll, they'll come, I'm sure. Um... Not as effective yet, but um, I'm confident that some people will, will turn up to listen to this heartfelt speech, eventually. Vincent, you better turn this around, man, or you are heading in the right direction to be smited. You heard that one, 
straight from the horse's mouth. It didn't even inspire anyone. Do it again. <laughs> well, I mean, it didn't it didn't quite reach as many people as I hoped. But, you know, it, it's early days. Let's just pop this back in our inventory. <laughs> Maybe we'll go door to door um, through some of the neighbours in Willow Creek and see if we can convert some people into becoming worshippers of the Watcher. Let's pop over and see Bob and Liz. Go and knock on their door. Just say, hi, I'm Vincent Fair and I'm here to spread the word of our Lord and Saviour. Do you have a few moments to listen to what I have to say? Hello there, madam. Do you have a few moments to learn about the truth? Discuss holy book teachings. Yes, yes, discuss those teachings. They're having a pleasant conversation. Eliza, for some reason, is dazed. So, not too sure what she's been doing. But to be honest, I would rather try and get her on side whilst her critical thinking skills are lacking because then she might just believe everything I tell her. Oh, this is great. This is great. They're hanging on every word I say. Guys, that is very rude. What are you doing right there? Maybe one day I can ask them for donations. I mean, so far I'm getting negative reactions every time I talk to them about the holy book. Well, I've done what I can for today. Time to head home now, I guess. Glad to have you guys on board as the new uh, Worship of the Watcher members. All right, back home. We've spread the word. I'm thinking maybe it's time to try and multiply this family a little bit more. So let's get this show on the road. Hey, hey, you're not allowed in the adults room, Courtney. Fuck off. So by the end of this, all of my Sims wives should have had at least six children each. You all right there, Jayla? Oh, you can't leave because you don't want to walk in on them bumping uglies. No, I get it. I get it. Well, I think they're done now. So you can walk on through. Is she pregnant? Please tell me she's pregnant. Hey. All right, let's go have our first set of Generation 2. And while you do that, Andrea can get yourself pregnant too. Very inspired from being close to the holy. Reading the holy book is always inspiring. Oh, I know. Tell me, right? A baby boy. We will call him Colt. <laughs> Quite fitting, really. Another baby boy, Don. And a, another baby boy, Chi. Perfect. So nine children has turned into 12 children. This is going swimmingly, but we need to age those babes up to make room for the next pregnancy. Oh, little Colt. Colt's my favourite, I think, just because of his name. It's just so fitting. Oh, Andrea is very focused from listening to a speech, so I guess Victor's been uh, practising his speech-giving skills in the house. Okay, well, one of my Sims wives is bursting at the seams, so she can go and have her babies. Oh, we had a baby boy. Gilbert. <laughs> uh, Valeria, sure. Nicole. Oh, congratulations. So now we have, what, 15 children? Let's age them all up and then have the last three. Well, for now, anyway. I don't know if I'm going to make a part two of this. I might. I don't know. But if I do, then we'll go a generation further and all the kids will be teens, all the toddlers will be kids. So many babies. But I guess if you want an effective cult, this is what you have to do. Okay, it's one last baby to age up and then Blondie can go into labour and she can have the last three of the bunch. Okay, let's go and have our final three. There is so much noise in this house. <laughs> So much noise. Oh, we had a boy, Alfonso. And a girl, Constance. And the final girl, Rachel. Ah, uh, what a beautiful moment. So if I go to Vincent's family tree. Yep, he's been spreading his seed all right. Multiple times. <laughs> and these kids are the future. They're the future of my cult. Oh, Rachel, she aged up fabulous. Look at her. The sunshine yellow and shades. All right, let's age up the last baby. Constance can be fussy just to make life that much more difficult. Well, you know what? I think I'm going to end this video here. 
My adult sims have all discovered religion. My main man, Vincent, has been out spreading the word. We've got loads of kids, 18 children now, to raise the religious way. So I think I'm going to end it on a high. What better time? Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.